Hey guys, I've been a full-time creator since the end of 2020 and if you know me already, I'm kind of this patient and steady guy who's taking it slow to build my online business. But if you don't know me and if it's the first time that you hear from me, I want to show you a little bit about how I get to 5,000 per month with my online business. So here, actually I want to show you this article that I wrote maybe a couple weeks ago, which is the 8 game-changing techniques that got me to the 5,000 month. I won't bore you to the details with the whole blog post, but I want to take three points out of these eight techniques and share it with you today. So the first one is actually a graph to show you how this journey has not been easy. So it's a lot of ups and downs, you know, a roller coaster ride, and there are a lot of bottoms. And I definitely need to do a better job kind of avoiding those bottoms. But as you can see, this happens to every business and everything is trending up. So this is why I have confidence in my business and I'm enjoying the ride. But the first technique that I want to share with you here today is actually called the spiky point of view. So this term is actually created by Wes Cow, who is the founder of Maven, an online education cohort based course platform. And I love this term so much because it really changes how I do everything, not just create products, not just write content. And the concept is if you're talking about something that everyone agrees with you, then you don't have a point or you don't have an angle. So when you're creating something, it's really good if you have a bunch of people who are supporting you, agreeing with you. But it's also good if that is spiky enough so that you have a lot of haters. People are like, Ah, come on, I don't like what you're saying. That's good because you're creating some kind of reactions and that will create more momentum for whatever content, whatever products that you're building. So for example, I have a free email course called Making Twitter Friends. So if you want it, it's at the link below. And when you think about approaching Twitter, some people don't want to make friends. They just want to make money. But I attract all the people who want to make friends. So that's the spiky point of view. The number two thing I want to mention is called the side project marketing. And I actually accidentally stumbled upon this because I was creating content and I can show you here. I wrote a lot of blog posts and they are individual and if you have written content before, you know that it's actually quite hard to get eyeballs on this. Like people would read it and it's really good for resharing to them when they ask you the right question. But usually people don't pass the blog post around because it's just such a small value. But what people will pass around is if you have a product that is amazing, like making Twitter friends here. In one year, I have 2000 students and I didn't even do active marketing because it looks like a product. It's a free five-day email course, and it has a lot of fresh testimonial like coming out every single month, and people are talking about it, people are enjoying it, and when you package it in a product, in a side project, people actually will spread it for you. So this is amazing. Like I've never thought about this this way when I created the course, but later on I learned, oh, okay, this is how I should think about it. Now let's talk about the point three, which is building in public. You might be thinking like, come on, no joke. Like you talk about building in public a lot, but seriously, like building public really helped me get all my creations off the ground. And there's so many benefits to it, but I want to pinpoint to two things that really helped me a lot. Like recently I launched my Twitter book, Find Joy in Chaos. And I've been working on this for 10 months. And in that process, I actually work with a lot of people. Like I get them involved to help me out with the book. So I get a ton of feedback to polish up the product. So I have more confidence that the product will do better than I just work on it myself. That's the first thing. Second thing of all is through that 10 months, a lot of people have helped me and they become what I call raving friends and fans for the product. And when I launch it, they're all jumping in to help me out to spread the word. So this is unbelievable. Like I don't think I can do all of this myself. And this is the benefit of building in public. I won't bore you to the details with the entire blog post. I'll put the link below, but these are the techniques that really helped me out in my early journey. All right. I hope you enjoy this. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.